Hey guys, so today I am making a video about this. My hair. <laughs> kind of silly, I know, but I get a lot of questions about it. And so I thought I would make a little video and just kind of uh, answer some of your questions. And um, hopefully that will quell the, uh, the comments on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube about this right hair. I don't know, maybe it'll help you guys. So it's kind of fun. I love hair. I use it to express myself. I wear extensions and I wear wigs and obviously I dye my hair and I cut it and experiment a lot and it's just super fun and it's something that uh, I just have a lot of fun with and so um, you know I, I just thought I would uh, try to answer your questions. So here we go. So starting off, um, the main reason why I wanted to make this video, uh, first of all, was to talk about extensions, and then I'll get into hair dye and stuff like that in a little bit. But I, I'm obsessed with hair extensions. I have very fine hair, and uh, I have a pretty decent amount of hair. It's not my dream hair, and with extensions I can kind of achieve the look that I want. No shame, no shame. <laughs> Manufactured beauty, not natural. But, um, so I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about hair extensions, which add uh, thickness and length. I've been wearing them for years and years, and uh, recently I've come across a brand that I'd like to share with you. I got these from VP Fashion. Um, they've sent me like two bags of hair that I just love, and I've been kind of primarily um, getting hair from them lately. I've tried a bunch of different brands, but I'm really, really happy with their products, and I actually got them in May. So it's been quite a while that I've had them and I've been using them. And so I thought I would sort of share uh, how I achieve the look that I get with these extensions. I definitely do a lot of DIY stuff. I don't just, um, they do have stuff that's ready to ship that's amazing and you can get it to match your hair. You can get like ombre looks from them um, and stuff like that. But I actually um, dye my own and um, I even uh, cut them a little bit myself to blend them and stuff. So I uh, thought I would share a little bit of, of that with you, and if you like it, feel free to check them out. Um, they're pretty awesome. So first off, I thought I would show you guys my hair without extensions and before styling. So as you can see, it's significantly shorter, you know, on the side that's not buzzed, <laughs> and it's not as full. So here are my brand spanking new clip-in hair extensions from VP Fashion. They come in this nifty box and with the clips already sewn on the wefts of hair. In the past, I've had to sew on my own clips, so it's nice that they come ready to wear. So as you take them out, you'll see that they come bundled together. Just unwrap that gold cord and pull them apart. Here I'm laying out the weft so you can see the clips. If you've never worn extensions before, these clips snap open. Then you just tease your hair where you want to put them in, spray a little hairspray, and slide them in and secure. They're comfortable and you can wear them all day. As you can see, I got really long hair. It's 24 inches and I got a light shade of blonde, which allows me to color the hair myself any color I want. I like to dye my extensions myself to match my own hair. But if you're not hair color savvy, that's okay too. I know VP Fashion carries a wide variety of colors and they'll help you choose the best color if you need some help. So when you clip these in, start at the bottom and work your way up. The shorter width pieces go lower on your head and the wider ones go towards the top. Make sure to keep layers of your own hair in between each weft so it looks natural. And I personally go pretty heavy on the hairspray. It gives the extensions more to grab onto, especially if you have fine or straight hair like me. Welcome to my crime scene. <laughs> a red everywhere. So this is how I dye my extensions. I lay out some garbage bags over my work area, mix up the dye to the color I want, and just paint it on nice and thick. I start at the top and work my way down. Paint that first side completely and flip it over and catch any leftover bits in the back, making sure it's saturated all the way through. I work it into the hair with my hands too, just to make sure it really takes. And make sure you wear gloves. Otherwise, your hands and nail beds will match your hair for a few days. This stuff stains everything. And for those of you guys who have been asking about what I use to dye my hair in extensions, uh, basically I just change up my red shade every time I do my hair. So I don't give out my color because there really is no one product that I use. 
I'm just always playing with different temporary dyes like special effects, manic panic, or adore. I mix all different shades of red and just keep mixing until I like what I see in my bowl. So something else that I also thought I should mention is uh, the quality of this hair has stayed amazing. Um, and I've had this hair since May and it stayed really, really um, healthy and uh, shiny and you know, it's not damaged at all. And you know, um, I don't know if you can really tell, <laughs> but the kind of hair that might look a little damaged is probably my hair sticking out because I've had it bleached and stuff underneath. But the, the hair these, that these extensions consist of is really, really good. I have been wearing extensions for years and typically they get really damaged, you know, in, in the course of maybe like five to six months, they get frizzy and damaged and like the texture changes from like a silky texture to like kind of like this, um, yeah, just kind of coarse texture, not as smooth and um, harder to style and stuff. But uh, these ones have stayed beautifully and um, I actually, I don't wash my hair extensions as often as I wash my hair because there's no need to. They're not on your head. Mine are clip-in. Um, I don't have them sewn in anymore. Right now I'm just clipping them in when I want to and I take them out at night and it's great and it's, it's really comfortable that way. I only wash them periodically when they need to be washed, which uh, for those of you that don't wear extensions, it might sound a little gross, it's not. Um, it doesn't get oily and stuff like your hair does if you wear them just periodically um, and you don't sleep in them. Um, obviously, if they're sewn in, that's a different story. But these extensions have just stayed great. I've dyed them and um, I've heat styled them, you know, over and over. And they still, in my opinion at least, look pretty darn good. Um, and I tend to wear my hair in that sort of messy style anyways, you know, I don't really spend a lot of time curling or straightening my hair most of the time. I just kind of let it like do what it's going to do. Um, and so if it looks a little messy or whatever right now, it's probably just because that's, that's just how I tend to wear my hair. And here is the final result. The hair has been washed and dried and clipped onto my head. <laughs> I didn't style my hair very heavily. This is just sort of what it looks like after air drying without any heat styling. I did use some hairspray and teasing to achieve this look, but other than that, I just sort of left it to its own devices. These extensions are great because they don't need a ton of styling or product to look nice. The quality of the hair just speaks for itself. At least I think so. Since I only have half a head of hair now with my new buzz cut, I separated out half of the first bag of hair I had from VP Fashion, and I did something a little feisty with this other half. I dyed this batch in an ombre fire graduation, starting with the deep red at the top, blending into my real hair, and then fading out to orange and then yellow at the tips. I love how they turned out. If you want to do something like this with your extensions, just paint the colors on the hair with a downward motion when you're dyeing them, and choose colors that blend easily into each other for a more seamless ombre effect. Lastly, here are some rainbow extensions I made with my second bag of hair. Once again, I started with a deep red and blended the colors down so you can't tell where my hair stops and the extensions begin. I'm so tricky that way. As you can see, I have a lot of fun with hair extensions and hair color. I hope this helps you guys with your own hair adventures, and if you want a part two, just let me know in the comments below, along with any unanswered questions that you might still have. Love ya! Bye!